Before we get started with today's video, I do have to warn you, it contains some graphic content that might not be suitable for all viewers. We haven't been anywhere in five weeks because I had my first surgery on February 1st and barely got recovered from that one. I had to have a second surgery and now I'm recovering from that one for five weeks. So we just haven't been anywhere. But we're going out today. Yes, we are. We got to fuel up to do it. What do you call it? It's adventure fuel. Adventure fuel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's coffee. It's coffee. Yeah, we're not going to tell you where we're going just yet, but I'll tell you, it's going to be wild. I know it's early, sir, but can I have a kiss goodbye? Can I have a kiss goodbye? Yeah. Nope. There's a kid. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I told you it's gonna be wild. Yeah. Wild Florida. That's right. So this is like a one of those safari drive-through parks. Yes. And then they have like a little gator park, and they have airboat tours, and a bunch of different animal cool stuff. encounters. You can pay extra for those. Little petting zoo. Yeah. So um, we're gonna drive through the safari. Yeah, and then we haven't we're done go, that in a long time. Yeah, I, mean, I know we've seen a lot of gators since we've been here in Florida, but I we're gonna see them one more time. See them one more time. <laughs> Got your gear. Got the GoPro, <laughs> got the long lens, in case yes. there's something a little farther away. Mm -hmm. And we got the skylight, so yeah. you'll be able to hang out there. Hang out. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is different, because the one we used to go through, they would let you feed them. And I actually was mentioning when we were on our way here, we should have brought towels, because they always snotch all over you when you feed them. But yeah. at this one, there's no petting, no feeding, no touching or anything. So you basically just drive through and look at the just animals. Just looking. So, we're just looking today. Yeah, this is our tour guide for today. This is Clyde. Clyde's gonna be uh, taking us through the park. Um, he said, if you look to your left, you'll see the lemurs. Directly in front of you are the geese. Thanks, Clyde, for pointing out the geese for us there, buddy. I have a feeling I know what we're gonna see most of today. That, there's lots of that. The babies. It's so adorable. The babies are out. Holy crap. This longhorn. It might. I don't know if that's a longhorn. That might be the longest longhorn I've ever seen in my life. How does he hold his head up? I don't know. He looks uncomfortable. Oh my god. Oh, hello. How are you? Hello, sir. Or madam. Uh, you look like a madam. Hello, madam. I love their eyelashes. <laughs> they have beautiful eyelashes. Hi. Stop. Thought you were coming with us. Okay. There we go. You're gonna walk with us? <laughs> this is Oscar the ostrich. Oscar. He's not as good as a, of a tour guide as Clyde was. No. He's just take a few steps and then he stops. <laughs> Oscar. Hi. You're fired. <laughs> See you later. Well, this dude has a pair. Huh? Man. You would notice that. <laughs> How can you not notice well, it? Not. He is well endowed. Yeah. He must be very popular with the ladies. It's a boy. It is definitely a boy. <laughs> if you ever come to one of these safari drive through things, uh, the reason we came early for a couple reasons. First of all, um, they usually, they haven't eaten all night. They feed them first thing in the morning. So they're out eating and uh, it's central Florida and it's as cool as it's gonna be all day. So yeah. they're more out and more active. So if you're gonna come to one of these, look at the time that the park opens and be there yeah. when it opens. And you'll get to see a lot more animals and a lot more activity. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. One of the first things you're always gonna wanna do when you get your new RV, is change out the mattress. Absolutely. Because the mattresses that come in these things, <laughs> it's like sleeping on plywood, yes. honestly. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Aurora Lux yes. in the soft, oh, yeah. in the RV King, <laughs> and it regulates our body temperature. It has like science going on in there that keeps yes. you at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature. But if that's not for you, they have a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different firmnesses, yes. and they're custom made for RVs. Yes. So they will fit in RVs. 
exactly. unlike some regular mattresses that you'll find in the store. They also come with a 120 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty, and free shipping directly from the factory in Arizona. They don't just have mattresses. No. They have accessories. I love accessories. We have the pillows, the sheets. Um, our daughter has one of their weighted, weighted blankets. blankets. They yeah. also have mattress protectors and all kinds of other accessories. Hey, check this out. This is the most coolest part. We can save you 25% mm -hmm. on your next RV mattress with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. All you gotta do is pop over to the link in the description of the video and use the promo code WAGS and save 25% at checkout. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> I got it in my mouth! Oh, oh my god, dude. You got peed, peed right on your face, dude. Oh, oh man. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I know. It smells terrible. See what? See, that's why you don't put your face there. That kind of thing can happen. Oh, don't get close to me, man. Get out of here. We got we got water buffaloes. I think they're just regular buffaloes. But since they're in the water, we'll call them water buffaloes. Oh, there's a gator in the water. Look. The gator in the water with the buffaloes. Well, you can probably tell by the shirts that we're wearing, it is Friday, so it is not pump day. But for these guys, every day is hump day. Every day is hump day. <laughs> hey, hey, this is not a scratching post, man. Hey, hey what are you doing? Can I help you? <laughs> You're silly. All right, we're done with the uh, drive through part. Yes. Now it's time to go feed some giraffes. Yes, please. Your favorite part? Yes. Yeah. Hello, oh, sir. Hello. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, well, give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute. You didn't even taste it. You didn't even taste it. That long tongue. Like wraps work the, for it. He like wraps the tongue away. <laughs> hey. You don't want to wait. Yeah, there it is. Want another one? Hey, please. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good boy. Well, we're done with the uh, drive through. We're done with the giraffes. Mm -hmm. And it's starting to heat up. It is hot one. But hopefully we'll be right. in the area where the gators are and we'll have, have some shade. Some shade and here. They have the little chop house out here. We'll probably eat lunch out here. Yeah. And uh, they have a couple of little shows. Maybe we'll catch a show, like yeah. an animal show. And the little petting zoo. Yeah. See what all we can get into. Okay. We're at the Crusher show. Yeah. Crusher is one of their famous alligators. American alligator. And they say that if you come here and it's showtime and Crusher is out of the water, he doesn't want to play. Correct. If he's in the water, then he'll participate in the show. Yeah. And we just showed up. It's about five minutes till the show, and Crusher is in the water. So he's he's down for yes, the show. Is. So uh, let's do the Crusher show. Okay. <laughs> Getting ready to do the gator feeding. I'm on the rail here because I get a better vantage point of it. Leslie is over there on the bleachers. See her. She has no idea I'm filming her right now. Looks like they're gonna run some chickens across this line and have the gators jump out of the water and grab them. That'll be fun. What did you think about old Crusher? I like Crusher. Yeah, he was very entertaining. 
very I'm well trained. Glad he was in the pool and willing to participate. Yes. <laughs> it was it was different from things that we've seen like at Gatorland. Yeah. Because I don't think the Gators at Gatorland are trained at all. I think they're just completely like they're they do like their wrangling wild. and then they do their feeding and stuff. But these guys actually train these yeah, gators. They teach them positive behavior. Yeah. So, so he, it makes it easier to treat them when they need to be treated by vets. And stuff. Yeah. He um. He showed us all kinds of cool stuff. He got yeah. really close. Yeah, he did. Like, kissed the gator. Wait, and he pat it. They yeah. let him pat it. They, that, that's part of their conditioning, their touch conditioning, is to be okay with being touched. Yeah, but I guess, I would think that the training process would be pretty scary. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> Getting to that level. <laughs> yeah, I don't you know that, no. Yeah, and, and you know, I mean, they're wild animals. You don't know. I mean, they could turn they on can, you anytime. They can have a bad day. Yeah. Absolutely. So we did crush her. We did the feeding, both were very, very cool. Yes. And now I guess we'll go around and see what other kind of animals they got. Yes, we'll go by the petting zoo. I want to see some goats, baby goat. Okay. It's springtime, there's gotta be baby <laughs> goats. And they jump, it's so cute. And the swamp block. Let's we'll see what's out yeah. on the swamp block. Okay, let's do it. I was just accosted by a pea fowl. You liked it. <laughs> I could tell it was a female. Yeah. So I couldn't say peacock. Even though I really wanted to say peacock. I know you did. It was a pea fowl. Yeah. <laughs> she fancied you. Yeah. She liked me a lot. <laughs> fun it was a lot of fun i was uh i was just happy to get out man yeah do something minimal walking do some filming yeah see oh. some animals yeah it was nice yeah. had a little sad moment there at the end it is sad a little black snake and uh it was in the wild it wasn't part of the exhibit and it's walked yeah, across the trail and, right in front of us. and it just zoomed over and i was like what is going on and it, it grabbed a little lizard it was sad the lizard was like backwards from the snake so his head was out and yeah. he, he was giving me the look like help please help me. yeah pull me out like don't let him eat me it so, felt so bad for it it was a little sad but great day out here had a good time it's super hot i am spent yeah i haven't been doing a lot of activity for the last five weeks so even a little bit of walking kind of makes me tired yeah. so uh, i'm looking forward to getting back in the truck and get me a water oh i didn't bring water Oh man, I asked you to bring water. I forgot the water. We gotta go buy some water. We'll, we'll go buy some water. All right. You have one job. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I had more than one job this morning. It's a good thing I said that before we walked all the way out to the truck. Yeah, because I'm probably gonna want something too. Yeah. Stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor and remember a fallen service member. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.